Morning, everybody. It's Brandon from Mara Tarawana. Today's date is 2 18 19. Um, we're working on the daily spirit uh, message from the Oracle cards doing past, present, and future. Right now, we have in the past position of relationships. It flipped out while I was shuffling, so you couldn't see it because I didn't turn on the freaking camera in time. <sighs> I do that a lot. Ooh, got another one. stick that in. Makes sense. So I hope everyone had a great weekend. I had a couple friends stop by. Um, it was pretty great. I spent my whole weekend with family even though I was like stuck up in my woman cave working. Not working but working. Weird right? Hanging out. Most of the kids went with their dad. The bigger kids stayed home. Uh, my bonus children came over so that's great. Got to spend the weekend with them. We're going to stick this one in the present. All right. Let's see a couple more shuffles and then we'll, we'll move on. Got another one. Uh. All right. Let's see. Let's give a good shuffle. Yeah. Alright, again, this reading is just for the general. It doesn't pertain to anybody in particular. If it resonates with you, that means it's for you. If it doesn't, check back on the other videos. Um, that might help a little bit. Or just stay tuned till tomorrow. Or for tomorrow, rather. Let's see. Okay. So we have our past. Okay. Present. Oops, turn my cards. Okay. Now I'll tell you a little bit as we go. All right, so start with our past. Um, well, that's great. Past past relationships. Um, relationships are just um, mirror images of what's going on in our life. They call them like the seven seen mirrors. So if you think that like if you so if you have these negative people, right? Even though you're a good doer and you're just trying to help this said negative person out, what'll happen is that because you're trying to help them and you shouldn't be helping them because they're just negative but you're a good person and whatevs um, they're gonna bring weird situations they're gonna bring uh, negative situations uh, because you're trying to help someone that's a negative Nancy but you're pulling up on their stuff and you know it, it, you're manifesting but you're manifesting bad or negative or not so good stuff um, everything that you see in front of you is like a mirror. It's a reflection. It just means that you're, you're the one that's causing this, okay, which really sucks. But I think now that someone might have been aware, okay, from the past part of it, um, so it really sucks because it's just definitely an opportunity for growth, but you're stagnant or bad shit's happening, or you lose stuff because of these bad people. But that's in the past. Um, and the past was in the past, so we let it go, but we learn from our mistakes. Hopefully. Um, it also says take a moment. Um, so maybe you did take a moment. Maybe you're taking a moment now to reflect, because this could easily be into the present. Um, maybe you did take a, a minute to look. Um, and maybe you listen to yourself and maybe you got rid of said negative energies. That's great. You know, so you're working on a better present situation. Once you move past all the bad, once you get the bad stuff out, once you just work on hearing yourself or listening or filling your gut, like listening to your gut, your intuition, 
um, you know, it'll resolve itself, but you have to like take the time to do it. Take a moment to listen. Um, you know, those bad people or bad things or objects, if they make you sick in your stomach or you feel weird just when you're like going to go hang out and you're just like, eh, mm -mm. say it a couple of times. What does your gut say? If your gut is like all tensed up, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't hang out with that person. Don't go pick that person up. Um, you know, maybe that person is just in a bad mindset right now. You don't want to get around it. You don't want to get involved because when you're around it, you get involved even if you don't want to be involved. It happens. It's the universe. We're all connected anyway. Try to keep as much of that shit away from you. Okay. And you are not alone. So I think, I feel as if someone felt as if they were alone and maybe that's why they hung, them, hung out with anyone um maybe maybe you're just sad and lonely and depressed and you did feel alone but even though you weren't uh like i said before you probably had those people with you but you just didn't want to reach out or maybe you guys just weren't vibing then um you know you should take a look around Find out that you are not alone. Reach out, like I always say. There's nothing wrong with that. Worst case scenario, somebody shoots you down. Oh, well. You, you hear no? Hell, I hear no all the time. Mm, I don't let it bother me. You never walk alone. Spirit's always with you. That's something that you have to remember. So that was your past. So you had some crappy relationships. Doesn't mean that it was all your fault. Two halves make a whole. Uh, something didn't work out. You took a moment. You thought it through. All right. Feeling like you were alone, but you weren't. But I think you found that out and you moved on because now in the present, or present, just ask. So did you ask for help? Are you looking for help? Um, have you spoke with your guides and your angels, the divine? Um, and if you did, did you hear anything back? I'm interested in knowing it's great. I think I think it's cool. Um, don't overthink it. Don't let ego get in the way. Um, if you hear or feel something, go with it. Write it down. You don't have to tell anybody um, because it's not going to resonate with everyone. It's going to resonate with the people that need to hear about it. You know, it's not good. It's not bad. It's it's in between. You know. When they say just ask, and I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I feel like I'm a mom to a lot of people, but whatever, that doesn't bother me. Just ask. Ask spirit. Ask your friends for help, for guidance, for knowledge. But you have all this knowledge inside of you. It's just tapping in to get it. It takes time to tap in to get it. But not that much time. And... You might get an answer right away, but if not, chew on it for a day. You're going to get it when you need to get it. Believe me, it happened to me the other day. It, the universe works in mysterious ways. It's, it's pretty awesome. Okay, then we got synchrosities. Now remember, we're in the present. Are you noticing the synchrosities? The more and more people I talk to, the more of those people are awakened. Um, Everybody is going through this together, especially as soul groups. Um, people that have been hanging around, like you're, you're friendly and an acquaintance with them. Um, but for some reason, they're still around. Um, this is synchrosity. Um, we are seeing everything, how it goes hand in hand or, or how it fits together. Or my fucking weekend was a full-on blown synchrosity the whole weekend. That's fucking weird. Because my brother was here yesterday. All day long. That's pretty exciting. Synchrosities. Everything that's meant to be 
will be. Whether you do the life work the easy way or the divine has to intervene and just take every fucking thing from you so you can start over. And when that happens, that's okay because you learn. There's nothing wrong with learning. You learn every single day. If someone says, oh, I know everything. They don't. You don't know fucking shit. You don't. Unless you tap in. Now that's different. I can't tap into those uh, shocky records. Okay. So I don't know everything. I only know some. I only know what I ask about. I only know what I read about. Synchrosity. Mm hmm? You just watch. Strength. You need to have strength. Strength can be from one individual and then it can be from multiple individuals. It can be your own self strength. It can be your family's strength, which is support. Um, spirit, it says, has its own unique way. Uh, beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. I believe it. And I know you do too, or you wouldn't be watching. Strength and courage to get up, look away, or look, look from the past, or look at the past. Take that past, and how can you make it better? What can you do to add strength? Um, maybe you will feel a lot stronger, and you would have the strength to help others if you opened up your heart, that takes strength, uh, it takes courage. Staying strong brings confidence. I think reaching out, making mistakes brings confidence because you learn. Let's see. And then cleanse. <laughs> This is great. You, some of y'all need to fucking detox. Now, I don't know if someone is having issues with drugs, um, alcohol, some kind of uh, abuse type thing, like a substance abuse. It doesn't have to be big to be an addiction. It doesn't have to be small. There's addictions to all kinds of shit. Um, you know, like a good analogy, you wash your car, you got to wash and cleanse your soul. Uh, you got to be honest. You got to take that time out. Cleanse. Cleanse yourself. Um, cleanse the, the negativity, not necessarily bad. Everybody makes mistakes. They're learning. It, it helps us learn. It teaches us. Uh, soul growth. But you need to take that time to cleanse the negative um, let go of the negative and have some positive cleanse. When you get in the shower, I do this every day. Get in the shower, you know, I calm down, surround myself with white light, and I just picture it. You can see it, feel it, tell yourself it, it doesn't matter. Just do it. And as you're cleansing yourself, okay, imagine all the gross negative yuckies, people's negativity, the, the, the dirt, the whatever, and wash it off of you. And as it's going down, even though it's clear water, unless your feet are dirty, like mine sometimes, uh -huh. <laughs> just, just wash it, watch it go into the drain. Um, and do this for 10 minutes. Um, take this time to say, I'm cleansing myself. I'm getting rid of all the negative stuff that don't belong to me. Um, this is for my greater good from the divine, blah, 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 blah. Say whatever you feel comfortable. You don't even have to say it out loud. It's your intent. And that's that's the best thing and best way to do it. So cleanse. Which leads us up to the future. I like to think that the future, well, the present and the future go hand in hand. Um, because we are uh, at will. So we can do whatever we want. Sure, there's destiny and paths, but... We're going to get to where we need to be. Um, some of us just get there faster. Some of us don't get there at all, but that's okay. 
So it just all goes hand in hand. So one is to inspire passion. Um, maybe you're bored, uh, stuck, don't feel like it, tired. Um, maybe you're drained. Um, but without passion, your soul, like it lacks harmony almost, like pur purpose. Um, maybe just setting some new goals, um, even small ones, baby steps. Something's better than nothing. Uh, you can't get anywhere overnight. That, that doesn't help. That's not real, okay? Um, little steps at a time. That helps drastically. I would say that you need to reconnect with yourself. Um, you know, start a hobby. Do you like to paint? Do you like to draw? Um, color? There's so much stuff that you can do to evoke passion again or inspire passion. Um, you could inspire others to start on a project. Or some of my friends have helped me and inspired me to... Uh, reach out even more because I'm not afraid anymore because I had people actually reach out and something is better than nothing um, and I, I think that people other people should do the same what makes you happy my kids they inspire me uh, they make me passionate about life um, but that's that's because I look at it like that um, sure I'm still negative occasionally but I found that if I'm negative then everything around me is negative too. And that's not good for me because I am a happy, crazy, excited person. And then that negativity comes in and I'm less like, ooh. And then I don't want to hang out anymore, okay? Breathe. Whoever this is, whoever you are, you also need to let yourself know as somebody, whether it be a grandma, a mom, an auntie, anybody, somebody's trying to reach out to you. Uh, you might know it and you might be just like, nah, they're not. I didn't hear that. I didn't see that. I didn't feel that. My grandma's been around a lot lately. You know, it kind of resonates with me. Not too much, but I don't know. Um, I think that if someone lost their mom or their grandma or their aunt, someone to them like a mother figure doesn't have to be a mom, okay? could be an adopted parent. doesn't matter, okay? Blood, blood doesn't make you family, okay? Anybody can be family. It's a relationship, okay? But somebody... Somebody's special mother figure is reaching out to them, so it's hard times. Like, hey, I'm here. I'm listening. I, I, I never leave you. I'm always by your side. I know you know that. Please hear it, feel it, listen to it. Let me help you. And they are. Spirit is always here to help. Your guides, uh, your ancestral guides, like our relatives that passed away and they come back to you know help us out a little bit with our spirit guides on uh, in the angelic realm or whatnot um, they're always there spirit can be everywhere spirit can be in two places at once it's that's just how it is I can't give you any ex any explanations but that's all I got um hope gotta have hope I keep saying it hope is the number one thing that holds your shit together when you think when you feel like you're about to lose it all hope hope I don't beat these kids today hope that <laughs> I feel like I like making dinner tonight it's like no hope hope can come in many forms seeing it feeling it hearing it it doesn't matter whatever it's your intention behind it Hope for a better day. Hope for a better world. Hope for love and joy and peace and harmony. It can happen. It does happen. I'm living proof. I, I don't... I hate saying things sometimes because I don't want people to think that I'm a know-it-all and whatnot. But, man. 
Like I tell my kids, just fucking listen to me. Hope. Hope helps. Let's see. Let's see what else. What else can spirit say? Ground yourself. Very big fucking important thing. Ground yourself. What happens when you get distracted? Do you get distracted all the time? Are you flighty? I'm not talking excitement. That has nothing to do with it. I'm talking about um, when you're not being grounded, you're all over the place. Uh, you're forgetting stuff. Um, you got a lot of shit going on. You're like, blah, 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 blah. but nothing's getting done. You're running around like a chicken with his fucking head cut off. That's what that means. You need to take one second, one second, one second. Breathe. Feel it. When you start to get calm, deep breath. Then take that time, that one minute, one second, and ask the divine and the spirit guides, your guardian angels and your angels, please give me the knowledge to help me make it through the day or through the minute, whatever you need, baby steps. And I bet you within 10 minutes of you calming down, you'll hear what you need to hear. They will help you. They'll show you the way. They will do anything and everything in their power to guide you. But it's your job to take the time to listen. And that's really it. That's all I got. So I just want to say thank you so much for everybody joining me. Um, I appreciate your patience, your love, and your support. Um, it feels amazing to have some supporters. Uh, I'm not trying to go big time, but if I do, oh yeah. I'm taking everybody with me because we're all one and we're all connected. So thank you again. If, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, I'll leave all my information in that description box, okay? Oh, wait, I just want to tell y'all quick. <laughs> I tweeted Lil Wayne Tucci. Can you believe it? <laughs> I hope he sees my tweet. I'm ashamed, but I don't care. Listen, I'm going to make everybody aware about spirit message smoking marijuana, how it helps you with your spirituality and to calm your nerves. And it's a spiritual herb and it's been around. Um, I also to help, I also help to teach others, um, with using not holistic medicine, but approaches before, you know, you go full on Western medicine. I have a story about that. I'll let you guys know that'll be a different topic, but I'm doing all this crazy fucking shit. It's so great. Okay, but that's all I wanted. So don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, hit me up. Call me. Text me. Comment. I don't give a shit. Hit me up. Deuces.